Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 30 July, day before FOMC. BOJ came out with an unchanged policy. A lot of people were hoping for a little dovish tilt to that. Printed some nice highs technically. So we have this this high here. 109 uh, today we got up to 95 more importantly euro yen traded to 121.38 which was the same high as the bullish engulfing from Thursday's ECB meeting this is now a very key point in this in the uh, scheme of things just purely technically um, we kind of like euro yen higher the same way we like EuroCAD higher and Euro Swiss higher, just purely technically. None of these guys have really confirmed on this uh, bullish engulfing ECB days, but because we're summer markets and because we're FOMC, there hasn't been a lot of energy in FX with the exception of sterling products. Um, so we're on wait and see mode, but as we make new highs from these bars, um, privateer FX will be long these euro crosses. So you know you're looking at this euro yen level, 147.10, let's call it, um, and euro yen now 121.39. Euro Swiss we're leaving alone because it's it's euro Swiss. Um, let's have a look at cable, just getting smashed. I, uh, I'm laughing not because I have a position on, but it's just nice to see some volatility. Um, very straightforward, no bounce. This uh, Boris Johnson dogfight is spooking the market. People can't see a positive outcome here. Um, don't know what to say. Can't really chase this here. We basically missed it, which is a shame, but. Um, such as life in the euros in the cross side looks like this 92 93 cents is going to trade um, that's the key level kind of the all-time highs so let's let's see what happens with this I mean you can watch the news but looks like these guys are digging in for a possible hard brexit I'm pretty sure the day is going to get saved at the last second or towards the last second. Um, but certainly I think a little bit early to be buying upside structures in cable. Uh, so we're not touching it, just pointing it out because it's not usual that we see cable down, you know, 100 points in Asia. See what happens in cable. Euro quiet. Uh, we're just waiting now. ECB. Um, this uh, 111. Very key. And if they uh, if they cut 25 and it's an insurance cut, people will buy. Well, people will buy dollars. If they cut 25 or cut 50 and looks like this is the beginning of a dovish directional move uh, euro will pop so you want to be ready for both sides of this technically um, euro downside through 111 looks quite tidy uh, you had all those 08 lows we trickled down uh, to the figure on ECB day we saw the fella at 06 with about 300 on the bid, probably an options guy, um, who was kind of slowing things up for the downside that day. I don't think there'll be that kind of bid down there next time. And, you know, if they're one and done, you just have to smash Euro. Um, and there'll be money to be made. So, again, like we talked yesterday, get your head right. 
start thinking about this now. You should have been thinking about it all day yesterday. I was thinking about it all morning this morning as I lie in bed. I was thinking about it. I'll be thinking about it all day today. Get your amounts right. Get your execution lined up. And uh, let's get ready for a wild training day tomorrow. Not much to do today. Uh, but tomorrow it's going to be a humdinger. As far as the calendar today, it's really crap. Consumer confidence out of the U.S. We do have some Chinese numbers uh, in the early morning Wednesday Swiss time. That'll be interesting for Aussie holders and risk, uh, risk on, risk off people. But today we got nothing. We got cons we got consumer sort of confidence numbers out of out of Europe, KOF KOF, KOF out of Switzerland, which is our um, sort of consumer confidence or economic barometer numbers. German CPI, which isn't going to move much, but needs to be watched. Shh, it's supposed to come out at zero point three. Um, but in general, we're just in this holding pattern, waiting for FOMC. Boons, just waiting to decide on this doji day. The high was 91, the low was 173.55. We're edging towards the top side, but who knows. Um, these are the two key points in Boons. They were going to follow uh, U.S. They're going to follow U.S. bonds, and again, there's going to be a lot of money to be made on bonds um, tomorrow. The key point in tens downside is 126.23. The key point on the top side is, is 128.15, which is dead set in the middle. 30s are going to look exactly the same. Um, so you got to pick your poison. Pick your, pick your horse. Here's 30s. Same thing. Smack the pony in 30s through 153, the figure. Whew. I really like that downside if he's one and done. Man. Uh, but just because I really like it, you got to be careful. We're not trading shit that we really like. We're just trading setups with no bias. Um, and then equities. Doji yesterday, nothing to do here. We're just going to play around until tomorrow. So not a whole hell of a lot to say today. Uh, again, you try and scratch and claw a couple of nickels out of the market, or you just want to take the day off, um, get some fresh air, uh, and think. You know, first question is, am I ready to make money tomorrow? And then, um, then once you're ready, how am I going to make money tomorrow? And then under what scenario? Am I going to make money tomorrow? And you got to be ready for all scenarios. And there's not that many, right? Not that many scenarios, right? There's maybe four different scenarios. Finally, gold. Uh, we talked about this. We're skeptical. Uh, we talked about too many tourists who are long gold. Uh, and yet gold popped up 17 bucks yesterday. Um, or today or whenever it did. We're not going to chase this. Um... This is going to be crazy volatile as well uh, tomorrow. And as you can see, they're all kind of the similar same type trades. It's world of one trade here. I mean, there's, a, there's, this, there's this marginally hawkish if it's a one and done. And then there's this dovish if it's at the beginning of a series of cuts. Gold is going to seem to trade the same way as dollar Swiss. It's going to seem to trade the same way as euro dollar. Aussie, you know, if it's dovish, they're going to buy the crap out of gold. If it's hawkish, they're going to sell the crap out of gold. Uh, and so, if you love trading gold and you think gold is your is your number one go to horse, get right in there. I can say that we will not be trading gold on an FOMC. I don't like the liquidity structure of gold. Uh, in the futures market, so we'll be trading other stuff, but to each their own. Point is, start thinking about it now, get your head right.
Anyway, all right, sermon over. Good luck out there, people. We're going to keep thinking, keep strategizing, keep writing about what we want to do tomorrow. And just get ready. Get ready for the day. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you tomorrow morning as we get closer to D-Day. Wish you a good day ahead. Ciao.